Hi everybody. Now in this video tutorial, what I want to do is talk about how to create a page. Remember, websites uh, consist of just a, a group, if you will, of uh, can be anywhere from one to thousands and thousands of pages. So a page is uh, where we have information uh, that we want to show the people that are going to be visiting our website. And so to do that, I would typically go over here or normally go over here to page and then if I want to see all pages I had installed I'd click here but in this particular case I'm going to go add a new page and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a page and I'm going to call it about a b o u t me m e and what I want to point your um, attention to also down here is that you see that this set of icons that are down here are, uh, if you will, the editor program that allows me to write things in this space and to style it. And uh, I can go across here, of course, and just, you know, explain a little bit. If you move the mouse pointer over, you'll see that this group here has to do with saving and adding new pages. And this is the typical t uh, cut, copy, and paste. This is our spell check. And as you go over here, you can see that these are more or less like what you would see with, as, with a typical, if you will, word processing program, similar to Microsoft Word. The only thing that I want to mention to you is that when you're developing web pages, what you see here needs to actually be previewed before you publish it so you can actually see what it's going to look like. Uh, that really becomes important. Down below here, you have bold, italicized, underlined. You know, this is um, where you have something that's going to be x with a sub number. This is x. This is like x squared. It's kind of like a exponential number. These are bullet lists. These are indents. This is if I want to justify something left, center, right, or across the um, uh, page. These are hyperlinks. And uh, these are anchor pages, or anchors. This is where I'd be able to jump from one part of a page to another. This is where I can do things like insert images, flash um, objects, tables, uh, horizontal lines, um, smiley faces. This is uh, special characters. This would be to ins install um, a page break for printing. In other words, where I want to tell the printer, print up to this page and then start a new page. This is to uh, insert more. And these are our styles down here. Uh, I wouldn't really worry about that much right now. This is your format as far as these are heading styles, what we call predefined heading styles. And this is a normal page in uh, paragraph format here. So I'll go to normal. This is my font size and uh, or the type of font that I'm going to utilize. And this is the font size. And then over here is the text color, if I want to change the text color, or the uh, background color highlights something. This is to maximize the window that I'm working in the editor. This is to show um, blocks. And then this is just uh, information about this editor. One thing I want to mention to you about editors, these kinds of editors. Uh, you're probably, after you're going to work with this for a while, you're going to find your favorite editor. Some of these seem to be very intuitive and they work pretty well. Some of them seem to be a little bit goofy. Um, this one is sort of works okay. So what I wanted to do is just uh, give you an overview of how this works. Uh, and here's where you would write text. So I'm going to give you a uh, simple example here. I'm going to create, create this About Me page. Now what I want to do first of all is I want to insert a picture. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to be able to add what we call media. And I'm going to go ahead and select the file. And I'm going to pick where my file is located, which is on my computer. And I'm going to pick the right uh, one. And I'm going to go down here and I will find my picture. I think I have it under Pat Hogarty, which is right here. And I'll just go open. And what it's doing right now is it's uploading it. It gives me an idea of what the picture is going to look like. It tells me the name of the file, the type of file, the date that I uploaded it, and the dimensions of the file. This is the title. Okay. 
And then this down here is where I can put where my alignment is going to be on the page. I want this to be in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to leave that there and then I'm just going to say insert into post. And there's my picture. The next thing that I'm going to do is rather than have you sit here and watch me type, I've already created some text here in Notepad. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go back into here, right here. And I am going to paste it and allow access. Now you're going to notice that it goes down the bottom here. And you're going to go, what in the world's going on here? What I have to do is tell this text how to wrap around this picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to image properties and I'm going to tell it to align to the left. And what it does is it puts the text up here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and select the text get as close as I can. Sometimes you have to go from the bottom up is a little bit easier. I'm going to select the kind of font. So I'm going to use Times New Roman and I am going to use a font that's about 16 now, for me to see what this is going to look like before I publish it, I just go ahead and go to Preview, and it's going to show me what this is going to look about, the About Me. I'm going to go back in here, and at this point, I'm going to go ahead and stop, and uh, when we come back, we're going to go ahead and create a menu item that's going to be called About Me, and it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be up here on the page. And we'll see you in a minute.